We are going live. Here we go. Here we go. We are live. Hello, my friends. It's Paul Gruber coming to you from the headquarters of the world famous pronunciation workshop. That's right. It's Paul Gruber, your very favorite speech language pathologist. I'm here to help you with your English. I'm wearing some of the merch that we have going on here and we have rocking at pronunciation workshop. Good to see everyone. Okay. You saw the hat. You saw the hat. I'm going to take it off. Hope everyone is good. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome everyone. How are you? Let me get my screen set up here so I can see everyone's comments. Um, I've had a very busy day. I just did a whole bunch of live coaching with uh, my clients. I'm going to tell you about it in just a moment, but I have notes. I came totally prepared totally prepared. Let's see who's joining me. This is so awesome. This is so, oh, here we go. Here we go. Let me just refresh. I'm refreshing this page. Here we go. And I'm looking for comments. They're starting to come in. Yes, we have a lot of people watching. Hello, best teacher. How are you, my friend? Fernadine? Fern 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 is that it? Uh, Fernand. Fernandino, Fernandino, hello. Hello, doctor. Hello, everyone. Mexico, Nephi Morales, hello. Very nice accent, Jasmine, hello. In Vietnam, Dap Baymont, hello. Uh, uh, Gary from Melbourne, BTS, big fan, love BTS. Hello, Potent, what's up, sir? Nancy from Mexico. Anthony, it's study time. I'm so happy I can help you. And to hello to all my friends. We are going live. We have a lot of people watching. Um, my socials, as you know, have been blowing up. Let's see what's going on. Yes, we have we have YouTube in the house. We have TikTok in the house. We have uh, Instagram. Hello in Thailand. Hello, Peterson. I'm watching you. And hey, oh, it's Peter. I know Peterson. Good to see you. Hello from San Francisco. Hello, hello. Dubai, Dr. Mojed. Bag hi in Dubai. Hello, Dr. Ebtaj. We have a lot of doctors here. Brazil, Giselle in Brazil, Siberia, uh, Colombia, Iran. Hello, hello. Okay, it's populating. My computer just went zoom. It's now populating. Mohammed from Canada. Zidane, hello, Paul. Mr. Sabir in Somalia. Serena Salim in California. We're co it's coming, baby. Sarah, how are you? So good to see everyone. I'm a big fan. As you already know, I'm a big fan. Thank you, uh, Peterson. I appreciate that. We have so many clients in Australia. Did you, I think you contacted us. You might've sent us an email, but I've been working with more and more people from Australia. I just finished three hours of live training. I worked with a client from uh, Argentina. I worked with a client from India and I worked with another client from Russia. Wonderful people. And let me tell you, everyone is improving so much with their English and their pronunciation. Um, we went, these are some of the words that came up. I just went through my notes. I said, let me just grab some of the words that came up in my live coaching. So these are some of the words that just came up. Um, if you can see them. And let's see these. Oh, this one, this one. Pathophysiology. So the, my doctor, my doctor, who's uh, from Argentina said, I said, what'd you say? What'd you say? I then, I then said, I said, did you say pathophysiology? He said, yeah. I said, D -d 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 -d. I said, no, that's, and also this came up the other day, but this is a problem for this was a problem for him. He says, you know, um, I have a lot of knowledge. I have a lot of knowledge. No. So this word just so you know, let's get right into the training here. Let's get right in, baby. Let's get right into the training. Hello, Cooper. Hello, Cooper. In New, in uh, where are you, Cooper? New Jersey. I'm a Jersey boy. I am. I'm a Jersey boy. Grew up in Fairlawn, Bergen County. That's where I'm from. Uh, Bahrain. How are you, Bahrain? Pepe from Peru. And Irma from California and Tyler from Vietnam. I love Vietnam. We just was just there, had an amazing time. Thank you for pronouncing my name right, Zidane. My pleasure. I'm a pronunciation guy. What can I tell you? Elena from Ukraine. Hello, hello, Elena. We are thinking about you and everyone in Ukraine. 
Thailand, Ireland, every Jordan, Tala, everyone. San Diego, Fernanda, how are you? Good morning. Have a great day. Good morning. Good morning to you. But right here, it's like 10.30 p.m. It's almost 10.30 p.m. We are in the last final hours of February, right? Because in just, in less than two hours, it's going to be March, March. And for those of you who are in my live coaching, I just posted in our private group, I just posted a big like, sign because March goes in like a lion and it comes out like a lamb, right? March, it goes in cold and cold and snowy. And it leaves springtime and peaceful and the flowers are coming up end of March. So we always say, thank you, Muhammad, for the gift. We always say that March goes in like a lion, comes out like a lamb. And tomorrow's March 1st. And tomorrow I'm doing my uh, mastermind training. Anyone interested? Hello, Hisham in Morocco. Good to see you. Casablanca, you must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. <laughs> I'm not, I'm going to stop saying it. Casablanca. That's from that movie, Casablanca. As time goes by. So anyway, and I've, Hisham, it's good to see you. I have so many Hishams as clients from Morocco. Uh, it's from Casablanca, Mon, from Morocco. It's crazy. So anyway, what was I saying? Um, so yeah, so tomorrow night is my, one of my masterminds. I work with my clients every single week for six months. If you're interested in working with me, let me know. Click the link in the in my bio. You're going to see the second link is on live coaching. So anyway, this word right here has that O vowel sound. O, oh, whoa, whoa. No. Okay, that's how we say it. I know you. I know how to speak English. What do you know? Thank you for the gifts. What do you know? Okay. But when we put it in this form, this O changes to an A, ah, as in hot, box, stop, problem, product, solve, ah, okay? So we say this word as knowledge. So I have a lot of knowledge about English and English pronunciation. That's my specialty. What do you, what do you have knowledge in? Let me know. What do you have knowledge in? You singing, what a great and smooth voice. Thank you, amazing. Juan, thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, I love to sing. That's my first love. English pronunciation, secondary. You must read. Uh, let's, we'll do some songs. Maybe we'll do some songs. Um, good morning from El Duray. El Duray, the home of champions. Hello. Can Is that Penny? Is that Penny from Uganda? How are you, Penny? Penny, you never posted another video in our group. I'm waiting for your video. Um, or, or something, or new recording, anything. Zoology. So, Mr. Sabir, when you have that word zoo, first of all, zoo, I'm going to go to the zoo and see animals. I call that the high double O vowel sound. Ooh, like you see something disgusting on the floor. You bring your lips forward and you go, ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a little W at the end of that. Ooh. So words like two, what do you want to do? She doesn't have a clue. Let's go to the zoo. That's how you say zoo. But when you put it in the field of study of animals, then we split the O's and we throw in a hidden W between the O's. We say it as zoology. So I'm going to study zoology. Notice my lips come forward and I, I push out that W. Zoology. So people who work at zoos have studied zoology. That's how you say it. Good morning in Saudi. Penny, I'll make one to me. Thank you, Penny. Yeah, make it short, 30 seconds, and give me the text, and I'm happy to help you, Penny. In my private group, Biblical Denise wants to know how to pronounce Biblical. It's a three-syllable word. You put the stress on the first syllable. Bum, bum, bum. Biblical. Biblical. So the storm was so terrible, it was biblical. That's how you could say it. Diana from Argentina is in the house. How you doing, Diana? Good to see you. Guillermo from Venezuela. So I was just working with someone from Venezuela, a doctor. He didn't know how to say this word. Um, Chadi, look who's here. 
My friend Chadi, how you doing, Chadi? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. And Chadi has a question. How do you pronounce Nick Gur? Nick Gur. I don't know. Chadi, I don't know what word that is. Explain it to me. Um, but good to see you, Chadi. Hope you're all as well. Um, Isita, Nicaragua. Hello, you, Abu. Good morning. Anyway, let's see. Sudan Mustafa. Um, Mus love the name Mustafa. Love the name Mustafa. Hey, good morning from Saudi. I wonder how I can pronounce it literally. Why does everyone want to know that? Literally. You push the R. Literally. I am literally. Who's asking me that question? Suntaru. I am literally Suntaru speaking to you. Literally. And it's different than laterally. That's the A vowel as in hat. A. Ah. Laterally, literally. That's how you say those words. Please send us your kid information to purchase. Joe Blow. Hey, Joe Blow. How are you doing? Um, just go. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you. I see people are sending me gifts. It's very nice of you. If you really want to send me a gift, give yourself a gift. Give yourself a gift and sign up for my training because my training will completely change your life. I'm telling you, it's the best English course you will ever find. You're going to learn so much. Click the link in my bio. It's the Miracle Pronunciation Academy. It's called Miracle Pronunciation because it is a miracle. It will be a miracle in your life. You're not going to believe how it's going to help you. Prem Singh, thank you for joining. The top link in my bio, go up to my bio, click on the top link. You'll, you'll be able to get to the Miracle Pronunciation Academy training page. And you just sign up. I'm going to send you 40 video classes your first month. Amazing videos. You're going to, your mind's going to be blown with what you're going to learn. And every week I continue to send you more and more videos and the training gets better and better every week. And so will your English and your pronunciation. So my client from um, Venezuela, I think Venezuela, patho. So this first part, this prefix patho like hat ah patho and this is fizzy that's a z z voice z physial so that o is pronounced as an ah physiology pathophysiology notice the syllable that that gets stressed bum 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 notice the syllable get, that gets stressed that is where the important vowel is all the other vowels in the word are not that important. What's okay, I, I sometimes will take that back. But really, the most important vowel, when you have a long word like this, it's always the syllable that gets the stress. Pathophysiology. Repeat. Pathophysiology. Seven syllables. Not easy. Pathophysia. So the fifth syllable gets the stress. Pathophysiology. Repeat. Repeat. Excellent. That's how you say it. What it means, I have no idea. <laughs> it's a medical term, I'm sure. And again, this is knowledge. Knowledge. How can you, you want, Tala wants me to evaluate her pronunciation and her speech. Um, it would be my pleasure, but you have to take my live coaching for that. If you sign up for my live coaching, I work with you face to face. And all my clients, I work with face-to-face -face on an individual basis, every single one of them. So sign up for my training and I can work with you face-to-face. -face. Carlos is asking me about son and son. Carlos, it's the same exact pronunciation. The sun up in the sky spelled S-U-N. And my son, I happen to have two beautiful sons. Here they are in my book, The North American Slang Ultimate Guide. The book is dedicated to my two boys. So that's Max and Jack. And here they are grown up. Max, they are my two sons. Aren't they amazing? I love them. Um, but we pronounce them the same. S-O-N, S-O-N, and S-U-N pronounced exactly the same. We do. I just turn that off, the sound, because it's making noise. Okay. So where can you watch the videos? Joe Blow. You need to sign up to watch my videos. Oh, thank you, Jasu Gonzalez. Thank you. Um, Google says it's the disordered uh, uh, physiological processes associated with disease or injury. 
See, I'm not a doctor, but thank you so much for helping me. That's what it means. Hello from, from Kurdistan. Hello, hello. Um, where can you watch the videos? So just sign up for my training. The link is in my bio. If you join my Elite English Pronunciation, there are free videos in there, free uh, uh, training, completely free with me. I'm in all the videos. And you have to join my Elite English Pronunciation group. So that's this. Elite English Pronunciation. This is completely free. This week we had 6,000 members. 6,000 members. We are working towards 7,000. It's in Facebook, Elite English Pronunciation. Just type it in the search. Or if you go up to the link above in on the, this channel, just click the link and you're going to see um, a link for the Facebook room. And then you can just join that way. But it's Elite English Pronunciation. I encourage you to join the group. There's free training in there. It's really good. It's the best group in Facebook, let me tell you. Um, Poland, Iwana in Poland. Hello. I have so many clients from Poland, like crazy, especially from Chicago for some reason. Mr. Sabir, how do you pronounce develop and development? I just did it. Develop three syllables. The stress is on the second syllable. Develop. So I will develop a program just for you. De, notice it's D-E. Let me start writing. I'll, I'll help you out. Okay, I'm looking at all. It's lots going on. So anyway, develop. Develop. So looking at this word, we pronounce it like this. I'm, ugh, I made a mistake. Develop. Uh, uh, uh. We pronounce it like this. Stress is on the second syllable. That's why it's capitalized. Okay. Develop. Develop. That's how we say it. Okay. Develop. So she will develop a program just for you. And this word. Basically, the stress is the same. We just add a syllable. Development. Even though it's spelled with an E, it's not meant. This isn't what I meant to say. That's M-E-A-N-T. That's e as an egg. The next bed. She said E. Eh. That's e -A, 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 a a That's E. But this is E eh, because it's in an unstressed syllable. Development. That's how you say it. So let's discuss the development of your program. Like, tell me about the development, okay? How to use regularly, Sepas Gaza Ram 369, regularly. You know, you know, um, speaking about that, this word came up. This word came up with my client, I think from India or Russia, maybe my client from Russia, Russia. He works on, um, he works for banking and he says, regulatory. <laughs> I said, what? He pronounced this word as regulatory. No, no, no. So first of all, this word, it, you have to add an R. It's regular, er, even though it's A-R, it's angry dog vowel, er, regular. So I'm just having a regular day. But when you have this word, the stress is on the first syllable. We say this as, we say this as regulatory. This is tor as an or 44 story, court, of course, floor, horse, more, door. These are the or vowels, super important, or. So this is regulatory. Make sure your lips come forward. I'm exaggerating, but I want you to get the feeling. So let's talk about all the regulatory procedures, okay? What up, boss? How are you? I need practice my English because really, but thank you. Battle o me, me, something like that. Thank you. Um, good afternoon from Indonesia. Good afternoon. It's nighttime. I'm about to go to bed soon. Um, but yeah, we pronounce this word as regulatory. Just like dormitory, um, 
mandatory. It is mandatory that you watch me and improve your English. It's mandatory. And we are working in a regulatory situation or whatever. Regulatory. That's how we say this word. Okay. Strategy. Someone's asked me how to pronounce strategy. Ah, as in hat. Ah. Ah, as in hat. Repeat. It's not, this is not my hot. It's not my hot because that sounds like hot, H-O-T. I'm hot. I'm hot because I'm wearing a hat. You hear that? You see how I go up high? Ah, there are many different ways to pronounce an A. There's ah, there's ah, there's a, there's a. There's many ways to pronounce an, an A and it's very confusing, but I make it super easy for you in my program. If you really want to learn and master English like a native and you want to speak clearly and confidently and correctly, and you don't want people to ask you to repeat yourself and you want to, you want to be able to uh, share your ideas, communicate your ideas easily, take my training. I cover everything you need to know. You will absolutely love it. Um, I'm not good. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking at all the notes. I understand you clearly, but when face-to-face -face conversation with a Native American speaker, I can. He's Sham. Take my training. You'll be able to understand every American after you take my training. I trust you. I just want to know how to pronounce Claudia February. Well, listen, Claudia, um, it's the very last day of the month, at least here. We have one hour. Or I am. It's 1045 p.m. So we have one hour and 15 minutes left of the month of I might as well write it down. I'll help you out. This is, I think, my second biggest video on social media. My number one video is butter right now. <clears throat> I think it's approaching two and a half million views. I think because I threw in a tongue twister. Betty bought a bit of better butter, but said she, this butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it'll make my batter bitter. Two and a half million views almost. But the second most uh, viewed video is this one. And we're going to have to wait an entire year, baby, an entire year to get this back, to get this month back, because it is almost March. But right now, this is the month where I am, at least maybe where you are, it's March. Where I am, it's this month. Let me show you how to pronounce it again. What's important about, there's there's three important things about this, how to say the month, clearly and correctly. And I was just working with my client from Russia on this because he kept on saying, February, like, I don't know what he said. February, I can't even pronounce it how he says it. February, it's like so unclear and so incorrect, okay? So notice there's a hidden Y right after the B. That's the first thing. There's a hidden Y. There's a hidden W in the third syllable. And right there, right there is a an R, a very strong R. So we say this month as February. Repeat. February. And remember, the two most important sounds in American English is the R and the W. And here you have both of them. R, W. That's why it's so hard to pronounce this word. February. And when you say it fast, it's February. February, 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 February. That's how you say it. February. The goal, what I, what I recommend doing is practice it slow. You want your mouth and the oral motor movements, the coordination of your mouth, you want it to get used to these patterns. Because you've probably been saying it your way for years. And now here... I come along and I show you a whole new way to pronounce it. So it takes time to get your mouth to behave, you know? February. Repeat. 
And while we're on the subject, last month was January. So you have January, repeat, February. Very good. January, February. Try that. January, February, January, February. Try that. Great. Jorge, good to see you from Costa Rica. Good to see you. Trying to pronounce February. No, it's the February. It's a W. This is to a legal, legal core. February. That's a W. Where, where, where? February. Okay. When do I do lives? I was someone was just asking me that. What's my schedule? I am so busy. Um, I'm so busy working. I'm constantly working. I have so much going on that I don't schedule them. I probably should, but I don't. Um, sometimes I schedule them if you're in my group, if you're in my elite English pronunciation group. So join the group and then you'll know. Like on Tuesday, Paul is doing a live session, and sometimes. <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes for free, I do um, live coaching. I do it on Zoom with my clients who are in the group. We do it face-to-face -face and it's a lot of fun. I have people from everywhere, Cuba, Russia, Indonesia, Australia, Poland, Vietnam, everywhere. I work with everyone. So um, thank you. February, Legal Corps, you got it right. Good morning in Libya. Hello, hello. Why some words with the letter I can print in two different ways? Director, via. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Broccoli. Very healthy. Broccoli. You're incredible. Thank you, Saeed. I, Mustafa, I appreciate it. So anyway, if you join my group, sometimes I actually do schedule these lives and I also do face-to-face -face where I can speak to you, hear you speak in coach you. So I do that. So anyway, I recommend joining the group. The link is up in the bio. Click the link and you can join the Elite English Pronunciation Group. Or um, what's better is take my training. Hello, Charlotte. Good to see you, Charlotte. How are you? Charlotte's one of my star students and clients, and she's taking my training and she's so supportive. You send me notes all the time, Charlotte. I love your training. It's the best. So thank you so much, Charlotte. You'll excuse me, Charlotte. I'm losing my voice. I've been talking all day. Caitlin, Pika Pika 210. That's how you say it. Caitlin, Caitlin. We love you from Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Thank you. A lot, a lot of people from Saudi. Let me tell you, I have many clients from Saudi and many Arabic speakers, many from Egypt, Kuwait, Afghanistan, Saudi, Jordan. Um, um, and more countries like Morocco. I know they speak Arabic all over, <clears throat> but I have many clients. Hello in Taiwan. A lot of clients in Taiwan. Chinese speakers do amazing with my program. Um, so um, I have to go. I'm, I have to go because I'm losing my voice. What I want to tell you is um, I have many clients in, in Saudi and also I do a lot of um, I know I'm losing my voice, Charlotte. MPA, thank you. Um, many clients in Saudi are actually working with me live um, in my coaching, you know, different days, and they're doing so well, amazingly well. I had one client, um, uh, um, what's his name? Let me look. Let me look at my camera. Uh, uh, Shadi? Shadi. Yeah, let me look at his, up his name. He, um, yeah, Shadi, that's right. He's from Saudi. He signed up. He said week two, he says to me, Paul, this isn't working. He was having like um, second thoughts. He was having second thoughts about my training. This isn't working, he said. I said, Shadi, please, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for almost 28 years. I'm really good at it. I said, just relax. Just trust me. Trust the process. Just do what I tell you to do. And don't worry so much. And about two weeks later, two weeks later, like I've been working with like a month, he is speaking so amazing. His English went from like zero to a thousand in, in over a month. It's just amazing. I said, Shadi, you, you tell, remember, remember you told me you were worried that this isn't working? 
He says, yes, Paul. Yes, I was wrong. I was wrong. I said, you always have to listen to me because he's doing so well. His English is like perfect and uh, doing really so. Arabic speakers do really, really well. Whether you're working with me or you're taking my training in my Miracle Pronunciation Academy, um, you'll do great. Everything that I know and I've learned, you know, over the course of my career, helping people with their English, it's all in my video course. It's 37. Someone just asked me, how much is it? It's $37 to sign up and you're going to get 40 video classes from me your first month, 40. Every day you get new video content every day for 12 days. And then it slows down because I want you to build up momentum. <laughs> momentum is so important. So after 12 days, then it's like every three days and then it's every week. So every week you get new units and each unit is multiple videos. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's six videos, but every week you get new videos and um, your English gets better and better. And meanwhile, you'll be laughing so much because my program is so funny and I throw in surprises, I throw in jokes and I teach you everything you need to know, every sound, vocabulary, grammar. If you're taking the TOEFL exam or the IELTS exam, your scores are going to go up. You are, um, you're about to take my course. Great. Legal court. Take my training. I'm telling you, you're going to absolutely love it. Um, everyone loves it and you're going to love it too. I've been working on it uh, for about five years now. RMN, nice eyes from Ecuador. Thank you. I appreciate it. Those are my baby blues, baby. They're my baby blues. How much in a month? How much improvement in a month? It's all about pronunciation. That's right. But I help you. That's true, Charlotte. Thank you. Momentum. Bum, bum, bum. St stress on the second syllable. Um, how much? I'm, 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 I don't know. My brain's going. My brain's going. Ease your cough with ginger tea. Thank you, Pilly. I need, and I need a little bit more liquid in this cup. I do. I need to, I need to run and get more. I like your eye color. Thank you. Thank you. I do have nice. I I love my eyes. I got them from my father and I, I I also inherited his hairline. Unfortunately, but I don't care. I don't care about my hair anymore. I I my wife loves me, my kids love me, my family loves me. Hell with it. Hell with it. But my eyes, it's a it's a good feature. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words. We need a full package. Not only pronunciation. Well, you get a full package. When you sign up for my train, you're going to get the full package. And I see Penny is laughing. So I'm glad, Penny, you're laughing. Um, her, His eyes are really beautiful. Everyone's talking about my eyes. So thank you. I appreciate that. Um, you love me and my hairline, Penny. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. Just so you know, hairline, one word. No space. Hairline is one word. Um, <laughs> people are writing the funny such funny things we're uh you have got to get more wives to spread your eye color worldwide yeah i need more wives okay we'll have to as long as my wife approves we're good to go anyway people that's about it i'm i'm running out of steam i really am i'm running out of steam i know a lot of people are watching me but um it's my pleasure to help me. Let me see if I covered everything. Did I cover everything I wanted to? Let me see. Um, did I cover everything? I think so. Oh, no, I didn't. Let me do that. So let me do that. So this word came up before. This word, he said like tumb, tumb, one of my clients say. This word, you know, this is, when, when someone dies and we bury them and we build like a structure, this is called a tomb. It's called a tomb and the B, silent. We don't pronounce the B, just an M, tomb. That's how you say tomb. And then if you're talking about the headstone that goes over the grave, that's a tombstone, tombstone. Notice I am not pronouncing the B, no B tombstone. So what are we going to write on her tombstone? That's how we say it, tombstone. Okay. These two words, energy 
Synergy. This is a word used a lot in um, business. It's used a lot in American business. It's a takeoff of this word. So this word is energy, three syllables with the stress on the first syllable. Energy. So it's the angry dog vowel sound. Er, think of an angry dog. Er, energy. That final Y is a high E. Energy. So I have a lot of energy, even though it's almost 11 p.m. where I am. I'm still working and I love what I do. That's why I'm doing this. Energy. So it takes a lot of energy to teach English pronunciation. But this word is when you take energy from many different places, we use this word, synergy, synergy, energy, synergy, tombstone, regulatory with the stress on that first syllable, regulatory. And let's not forget where I am, we have 60 seconds left of February. Repeat. February. Do it again one more time. Very good. February, February, February. Repeat one more time. Almost everyone has trouble with these with that word. Almost everyone does. If you're having trouble, believe me, you are not alone. Can I get fluency taking all this into consideration? Jorge, antecedent. That's how you say it, big color, um, antecedent. Can I get fluency? Yes. You know, my program will help you not only with your pronunciation and your accent, but it's going to help you with your vocabulary and your grammar and your sentence structure, but it's going to help you with your fluency. Even like there's a lot of sessions on word connections because in English, everything is connected and word connections are very important because like I'm going to eat an apple, an apple. We take the N in an and we put it on the word apple, napple. I'm going to eat an apple. You see, it's connected there. Sometimes we drop it. We drop sounds like sometimes we drop a D. Sometimes we drop a T like I'm going to um, I'm going to eat a banana, eat a banana. So the T and eat becomes a D, okay? And it goes into a, uh, eat a banana. I'm going to eat a banana. That's fluency. That's word connection. But if the word after eat, which ends with a T, is going into a consonant, for example, cherries, cherries with a ch, -ch with a CH sound, I'm going to eat cherries Notice I just dropped the T. Now, my clients, especially from Japan and China and Taiwan and Hong Kong, they would say, I am going to eat cherries. I'm going to eat the cherries, eat the cherries. And that's what an American listener like myself would hear. I'm going to eat the cherries. But we don't say that. Eat cherries, eat cherries. We drop the T. So a lot of what I teach you is not just how to pronounce specific words. It's how to do word connections, how to make your English fluent. That's what you're asking me. Yes, if you want to speak with total fluency, confidence, and clarity so everyone understands you, speaking like speaking like a native speaker, like an American-born English speaker, that's what my training does for you. I have so many clients all over the world, including Penny, who's from Uganda, wonderful young woman who's taking my training. I know she's watching right now. Mwah. Sending love to you, Penny. And some and Charlotte's taking my training. I worked with Charlotte in um we had was it Charlotte? Did you join my um uh my um Black Friday boot camp? I think you did. And I had a chance to work with you face to face. So, you know, a lot of I work with so many people every single day, and I can help you tremendously. If you are seriously motivated to improve your English, I, I, I'm telling you. It's $37 to join. We lowered the price by 60%. It used to be $97. It's now $37. Click the link in my bio and sign up for the Miracle Pronunciation Academy training. If you sign up, I'm going to send you this book completely free. You're going to get it completely free. It's my gift to you. My gift to you. 
along with um, the audio supplement. It's 30 minutes, and I show you how to pronounce every word in the book. It's excellent. There's a free bonus. If you sign up right now, that link is in the bio. Get the syllable stress survival guide because syllable stress in words like, see my client today said regular, regulatory, regulatory. I said, what? Regulatory. Syllable stress is so important. Um, so anyway, you get the book for free. $37 to join gets you in. I will send you videos every week. You will be blown away. You're going to love the training. And thank, it's quite cheap, Mr. Sabir. It's very affordable. It's really, I made it very, very affordable. I really did. Big trouble with the word. Literally, I can't pronounce it at all. Liter, this is no, 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 no. Literally, 37 bucks. Yes, Mr. Sabir, Legal Corps, thank you for helping me. Can you tell me how much is the course? It's $37 to sign up. And then that's the first month and you get 40 videos. And then I continue to send you video classes every single week. You're going to love the training. And it's going to help you so much. And of course, if you want to work with me live in my face-to-face -face live coaching, let us know. Send us a message. The second link above, you can apply to work with me. I have a, um, I'm doing trainings tomorrow on Wednesday. And then my next working day is Sunday with the clients. I'm going to work with my clients Sunday. And then next Tuesday, I work with clients and Wednesday. So I'm very busy. Pronounce it that way. Mandatory regulatory. That's right. Juan Camilo Banilla. That's it. Yeah, it's affordable. Yes. Jorge Jimenez. Thank you. Thanks for all the support. I appreciate it. Big love from Sudan. Abdallah. Thank you. Sending love. Right back to you. Thank you so much. Um, Ali Washington, $37 gets you in. Tongue twisters help. Yes. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. That's another one. She sells seashells by the seashore. The, the cells she sells are surely seashells. Peter Piper picked a peck of pick a peck peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. What's another one? If two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which watch? That's a good one. The tutor who tutored the flute tried to teach two young tutors to toot. Said the toot to the tutor, is it harder to toot or to teach two young tutors to toot? That's another good one. Ah, oh, tired. <clears throat> Someone wanted a song. Someone asked me for a song, but I'm losing my voice. I'll try. You know I can't smile without you. I can't smile without you. I can't laugh and I can't sing. I'm finding it hard to do anything. Hi, but I'm losing my voice, so give me a break. People, thank you so much for all the love. Charlotte. Oh, I thought a thought. I remember from the course. I thought of a thought. I thought a thought. But the thought I thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought I thought I thought. Right? Something like that. I thought of a thought. But the thought I thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought I thought I thought. I remember that's been a while. I completely, Charlotte, I completely forgot about that one. I completely, there's another TH good one. If two, th no, th 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 I can't remember. Can't remember right now with THs, but that's a good one. The thought I thought I thought, that's a good one. Yes, Peely, you got to rest my voice. I'm going to have some tea and then go to bed. Tomorrow's another day. I have an appointment at 9 a.m. with Jamie. Jamie's one of my all-time favorite clients from Spain who became a dear friend and um, one of my best friends is Jamie. And I'm going to see him tomorrow morning. I'm excited to see him and talk to him. Um, many of my clients that I've started working with with live coaching, whether they be from Saudi or Pakistan or Israel or Spain or Iraq or, or I said Saudi, or uh, Venezuela, Argentina, um, some of them have become my dearest, dearest friends. I've, I've met with them. Um, I've traveled with them. Some of them, it's been an amazing China. I didn't mention China, Hong Kong. I didn't mention Hong Kong. Um, yeah, I'm thinking of Ying and Leonard and Jamie and Khan and Michael and, um, uh, Federico and Ivan and Ishik, um, I have clients from all over the world. I'm sorry if I'm not mentioning you, but many, many clients. Brazil, yes. 
um, uh, Sao Paulo, who's in Brazil? Um, mm, Brascom, I can't remember his name right now. He lives in Brazil. Great guy. Got very friendly with him. Uh, Lawrence, you have a client. Amazing, amazing. I've, it's been an amazing career. I've ha I've helped so many people learn to speak perfect English, just like an American speaker. And it would be my pleasure to help you as well. Please consider signing up. Thank you for all the roses. I appreciate that. I really greatly appreciate it. Greetings in Somalia, Ali. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Sabir, I see you're in Somali. Great to see you. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful month of March. Let's make this the best March any of us have ever had. My son, Max, has a birthday this month, and uh, it's his birthday month. So that's what we're going right into. Let us all have a wonderful, blessed, uh, healthy, wonderful month. Sending love to all of you from my family to yours. Thank you much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for signing up for my training. For those who just signed up for my program by clicking the link in my bio, I appreciate it. It's a win win. You're helping my company and you're helping me help more people. But most importantly, you're helping yourself because you're going to be amazed at how much my training is going to help you. Good night, everyone. From the, from the headquarters of Pronunciation Workshop. Have a great evening, a great day, and a great month ahead, and I'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.